Hi there, Sandy here. Welcome to another Friday Findings video at KeepsakeCrafts.net. Today I'm going to talk to you about a bracelet finding. If you're looking for something a little bit more discreet and secure for a multi-strand bracelet, you might like tube clasps. So here I have an assortment of tube clasps, and it's just what it sounds like. It's a tube, and then there's another piece, a cylinder that's slightly smaller that fits inside it. Now these ones, you can see how it's snapped together, happen to be magnetic, which is nice. And these are all from artbeads.com. This one isn't magnetic, it's a friction fit. And when you get to the end, there's a little bit of a snap, but it pulls apart easily. Tube clasps are nice when you want to make a multi-strand bracelet and you want to keep all of your strands spread out evenly throughout the bracelet instead of having them all gather together at a clasp because when you put this one together you can see they stay spread out on the clasp much like a cuff bracelet. A few things to keep in mind when you're using tube clasps. The first thing is if you're going to make a many stranded bracelet, make sure that you keep it straight which piece goes which way so that you don't twist your pieces unless that's the look you're going for. And if that's the look you're going for then you'll want to be certain that you allow some extra length because that twist and that extra thickness will take up some space. Also, the longer your tube, the more length you're going to need in your bracelet for two reasons. First of all, if you wear a bracelet down here, where like a single strand bracelet would fall, you're going to need less of a diameter around the wrist than if it goes up here. You can see there's a bit more of a gap there. So if you're going to make a bracelet with lots of strands that's going to be very wide, the some of it is going to be up here where your arm is thicker. So you need to make sure that you make your bracelet long enough to accommodate that. Also, the longer your clasp is, the more space you need when you're going to put it on. Let's see if I can show you here. It's kind of tricky. But this needs to be way up here for me to clasp it, which means I need extra length. These can be a little bit tricky to clasp on your own. It can be done, but this is one of those things that's kind of helpful to have somebody clasp it for you. But once it's on, it's quite secure uh, because unlike a toggle clasp, there isn't much by way of movement that's going to pull it off except something very deliberately grabbing both ends and pulling apart. And as you can see from my, my assortment here, tube clasps come in all different finishes and sizes and numbers of loops. These two are both 30 millimeters long and they both have five loops. This one's silver plated and this one's antique copper plated. This one is antique brass plated with three loops and it's 20 millimeters long. And then this one is a gunmetal finish. And it's, I didn't measure it, it's about 40 millimeters long and it has seven loops. But notice you don't have to just have as many strands as there are loops. This one's seven loops, but on the end ones I have not only a strand of beads, I have a length of chain. And also if you want, maybe you want to use some wider beads, you could skip loops. So on this one, you could double up and have six strands or five or whatever you want of smaller beads. Or on this one, you, know, you could skip loops. And like I said, it's kind of a nice discrete clasp that keeps all of your strands spread out nicely while you're wearing it. So if you're interested in some of these supplies, there's a link in the upper right and the description box to go to my blog post. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and check out my Patreon page to help support these videos. Happy creating. Bye-bye.